All right, new embark. It's got a bit of cliffs on its corner. And of course, still tundra, terrifying, and the usual crap. So let's go ahead, jump in here, and let's just go to uh, here, and uh, I don't know what to name the fortress. <laughs> Maybe Frosty Death. Maybe that'll work. So uh, let's just continue on. Actually, I think I might be able to name people right here. Mm, can I? Customize? Yes, I can. All right, Lamo. I went ahead and uh, named you now, and I'll attempt, attempt to get a hold of some uh, bow and arrow, or well, bolts and arrows, or whatever. Shortly, make you some sort of military something or other before too long. So anyway, we're already in here, and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what the. I thought this place was gonna be less flat. What happened? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> okay, this is bad. <laughs> Real bad. Well. I'm most likely going to have to fight with an aquifer on this one. That's going to suck. Well, after some initial exploration, looks like uh, I got saved by the incredibly thin soil. So that's really good news. But uh, let's go ahead and tell this guy to dig away. Hopefully we can find that cavern right away. Why can't I have a cavern that's like five layers deep? Why do they always got to be like 40? Uh, actually, it looks like there was an aquifer nearby, so I got close. I could have swore. Yeah, there's there's one. So I can actually go ahead and make a little place for somebody to take a drink, anyway. Uh, right there. And hopefully I'll get to that before he digs down too far. And uh, I'm gonna try to take my animals downstairs with me just this once. See what happens. And maybe I can manage to butcher them without dying this next time. That would be nice. Um, sometime soon, they may actually do something useful with themselves. Uh, oh yeah, I uh, dug myself two entrances by accident, so let's go ahead and block one off. Because this one I don't really want there. So, floor this, and I already made somebody a uh, table. And uh, hopefully they'll get to that shortly. And while he's doing that, let's go take a look see what's around. An eagle corpse. That's no big deal. And, uh, so far so good. Nothing else on the surface anywhere, so I'm gonna go ahead and block this off too. With the wall! Yay! And I'm not using my logs. Let's go with the jet. It's nearby. Resume. It's a miracle! I actually found it! Expansive cave, eh? Uh, let's take a quick look around. I dropped right into a hole. Okay, that's decent enough good news. Uh, this thing looks like a giant pain, to be honest. Uh, I don't really need water nearby since I got aquifer I'm in, or I already got hold of. I already got troglodytes, so that's horrible news right off the bat. And, uh, what else? I don't even remember where my entrance is now. A uh, bunch of random junk over here. Probably cave spider. Not regular cave spiders, instead said giants. And, uh, some food here and there. Any of these giants? Nope. But good news. I don't like giant cave spiders for obvious reasons. Uh, this honestly looks like quite the mess in general. And a bunch of gold. I also found silver and tetrahedrite on the way down, so uh, that's all good news. Now to figure out what I want to do with this. Like, I'm probably going to put my farm up at the top near the surface, because I don't want to stick anything in this thing at all. Really all I want to get out of here is some food, like initial food seeds and stuff like that that I'll need, and some lumber, and I'll try, possibly, to uh, maybe wall a part of it off, or just say screw it and stay on the surface, I'm not sure. Well, if I decide to go down there at all, which I, I very well might, uh, I'm going to have to grab some stuff first, or build some stuff first, anyway. Namely, I definitely absolutely need a carpenter's workshop, just so I can make a... Uh, training axe to chop down trees, first of all. And let's go ahead and make that out of whatever. And I'll go ahead and make a mason's shop, because I think I'll throw a hatch on the... Um, I'll stick a hatch on the very bottom uh, entrance, basically, because nothing can destroy a hatch on top of a stair that's above it. And that ought to work pretty good. i to die right, right here. Uh, anything else? Well, I'm gonna clear a little land up top here, just to see if anything good grows out of it. And if anything does soon enough, I might not actually bother 
to go into the cavern itself right away anyway. I just need some food, basically. And after a little bit, and some trees, uh, which would always grow on this bit of soil after enough time. Also, I'd have a little pasture in here, too. So, uh, I might even set up base on the first two, three levels. Well, two levels, anyway. Third one's an aquifer, apparently. Uh, that's a little mess. But anyway, it's big enough. <laughs> this will work. Oh my god, we're all gonna die. I just had an interesting idea. I've got enough wood to make a training axe and a bucket. Why a bucket? Well, I've got two female animals up here. And, uh, well, I don't know if I have to breed them first for them to become milkable, like real life. I haven't milked anything in forever in this game. So, I'm going to attempt to uh, try to milk them, and uh, the milk counts as food, so maybe we won't starve to death while uh, we you know, go ahead and uh, wait on everything else to grow up here. So, I am after some sort of uh, farmer's workshop, I guess. I hope that's it. I'll just slap it in here while we're at it. Die right to work. And, uh, I suppose that will work for the moment. I'm going to just dig out a bunch of stuff here. Uh, for instance, I think I'll actually start digging out an area over here to be used as a, uh, um, a, a main entrance of sorts, basically, with a whole bunch of horribly deadly defenses and stuff all over it. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know about the defenses so much. Uh, actually, I got a bunch of stone, so I could make a bunch of stone traps or something. So... I'll jump on that. Alright, moment of truth. Will these people actually milk something? It'd be a miracle. And I don't have any cancellation yet. And he grabbed a bucket. Uh, maybe, maybe. He put them there. I think somebody else is the milker. I'm pretty sure I actually made somebody a milker. Uh, let's see here, dwarf therapist. I committed. And a milker right here. And that is Jeff the Rambler. He's busy constructing something. Oh, well, that makes sense. So that's why. What is he constructing? I have no idea. Alright, there he goes, maybe? Is that milk? Is it really? Oh, we got milk! Oh my goodness. Cedar bucket with donkey milk in it. It's a miracle! <laughs> All right, sweet. I don't know if they'll drink right out of the milk, so I uh, out of the bucket. So I got this guy here making rock pots. Maybe somebody will throw it in a rock pot. That'd be good news. Whew. Okay, well I got a very small amount of food for now, and somebody just transferred. Awesome. So donkeys milk pot. Okay, well somebody anyway can get a meal before too long, and I'll go ahead and milk the other one. Miracle! Okay, well, I guess it is a good idea to keep these guys rather than just throw them away upstairs. Even though I may not be able to butcher them, at least not right away. Uh, they'll work for milk and cheese, that's some good news. Mmm, says no creature, eh? Horse and a donkey, eh? Uh, are they both female? He, oh, okay, one of them's a female anyway. I got a nice donkey! <laughs> Crap, I thought they were both female. Oh well. Anyway, other was slightly good news. Uh, we got young tower caps starting to grow in here. Soon, hopefully, we'll actually get some other crops. So, I'm just going to start digging out a whole bunch of random uh, areas and maybe get a proper fortress, at least somewhat set up down here. Well, uh, everybody got hungry all at once. Uh, I wonder if anybody will actually manage to go eat anything, specifically that milk. Anyway, I got a little bit of an area dug out here. A uh, little bit of a um, stockpile here for my food. Uh, there it is, food stockpile. We have a little dicky stockpile for any weapons, which I don't currently have any, except for maybe a wooden pickaxe, or a wooden axe, which nobody brought down there yet. Furniture stockpile with a chair in it, and <laughs> the, a gear of some sort, and a finished goods uh, stockpile with nothing. This guy right here now is digging out a little uh, dining hall, even though they don't really have anything to dine on, but oh well. I'll uh, go ahead and see if I can milk anything again yet. And uh, nothing yet. And I actually have at least a plant to uh, gather here, but I don't think it's anything I can currently use. But uh, oh well. Mm, shortly, as soon as somebody wakes up, 
I'll be able to complete this bridge right here. And I went ahead and uh, put down that uh, great thingy or whatever this thing is. What is this thing again? It doesn't even say, does it? Hatch, that's it. And I'm going to make this so uh, it's tightly closed and currently forbidden for the moment. Uh, anybody needs any stone, they can pull it out of here for now. And man, does my miner currently suck. <laughs> oh well. Well, I got two bits of milk, so I'll go ahead and uh, see if I can make a little bit of cheese. I don't know if I'll make much with just two bits of milk. Well, at least a couple people might get a meal. <laughs> Poor peeps. And uh, this guy over here is uh, not too far away from being done with this bridge. Then I can go ahead and link it up to this lever I'm about to make. I'm just going to slap the lever down right here for now. And let me get out of Mika. Uh, otherwise, well, we're still in general dire straits. I didn't get anything out of that one little bit of whatever it was I picked up off the ground that I tried to harvest. And uh, nothing going on outside yet. This guy's still digging away. I'm trying to get more area to hopefully get something to grow in. And I'm going to need more room for stuff. <laughs> I need a lot of stuff. Like more workshops, more storage areas. I really need some more stone, too. This guy's skills at mining is so bad right now. Uh, who is this, anyway? Clover Magic? You really need to get better at mining, man. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> You're doing a good job, though, so far. Um, anyway, uh, I guess everything's so far uh, okay. Um, I hadn't changed the season yet or anything, and once this uh, bridge here is done, I'm going to um, tunnel up uh, right here a little bit, and that way things can go through there as the main entrance uh, shortly. Well, the food situation's starting to get really desperate, so I'm going to go ahead and crack into here and send somebody out to gather some stuff. Maybe even several something as peoples. Uh, let's see if i got a spare hatch ready yet. Um, build is H? Nope. Shift H? Yeah. Uh, it's not quite ready, but I'm going to stick a hatch like right there on top of that X, and uh, hopefully that'll do the trick of basically a door that nothing can break, which would be great. Uh, let's see, gather plants. I just need plump helmets right at the moment. But uh, it'd be nice to have some other things. Um, like down here, we've got some, um, was it sweet pods? I can just get a couple for now. Uh, oh, yeah, there's another, another um, plump helmet right there. Um, I'm not sure what that is, and I'll worry about it another time. And, uh,. That should do the trick. I just gotta get enough people to go do it now. Um, connect. It's red. Now, everybody that has a pulse, <laughs> you need to go and gather crap. Right here. Uh, I don't want my miner to do that right at the moment, and I think I have my mason busy doing something else. So, that should do the trick. Hopefully. Well, fortunately, this time, since I got a little bit more experience with this horrible mess, um, it's actually coming along a lot better. Uh, I think I may actually be able to make a stable, decent run of this one, if, as long as nothing horrible happens. But I got, like, fail-safes on top of some fail-safes here and there, so uh, it should definitely help things out. Now, the only thing I would currently be worried about is if there's anything running around down here that's out to kill me. Fortunately, nothing yet. Uh, I don't even think the troglodytes are within sight at the moment, and that is definitely good news. I hope these people can actually manage to get a hold of some stuff. While I'm here, I might as well tell somebody to go chop down some trees. Um, need a handful, anyway, to get me by for the moment. Uh, let's see. Let's take this one. Don't need much. Not yet, anyway. And I will need much, but eh, in time. Are, are any of these guys actually picking anything up? <laughs> I think they suck too hard. Uh, let's see. What, what is this thingy right there? Just another shrub? Did I tell him to get it? I must have. Oh, my goodness. You guys currently still inhale vigorously at everything. All right, everything's actually going quite well. Everybody's out of the caves now. I got some wood, got some food. Everybody ate all the food already, but at least I got all the seeds. And uh, I can go and start a farm with some plump helmets. Uh, 
I wonder what the season is right now. Oh, well, at least uh, it used to be if you planted stuff in spring and summer rolled around, you lose all your stuff. But I think I just seen that it doesn't do that anymore. So uh, I'm basically pretty safe to uh, grow anything anytime I want. Yay! And of course, like immediately after I send everybody down there for food, things start growing up here. <laughs> Plump helmets and whatever this yellow thing is over here and whatever that white thing is. Uh, just figures. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's all going quite nicely, and uh, this is all good news. Hey, summer! Woohoo! Well, that's good news. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a little something over here. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is something quite simple. I just need a little area right here for any um, potential travelers or, well, eh anybody that wants to join my fort, anyway, to uh, stand as a little meeting area so they can get in here in one piece, hopefully. And uh, I just need a little bit of a upward ramp right there, and then anybody can walk right in. Uh, actually, before I act make that, I forgot. I still need to put in the lever, which nobody decided to build for whatever reason. So, build T, lever... Uh, or did they? Oh, there it is. I forgot to put it there. Alright, I better link that up, because I never did that. <laughs> that could have been a little disaster. Uh, link up bridge. That one. There we go. This is definitely turning out to be a very good uh, start to everything. I got a little bit of food, good number of seeds, a uh, bunch of little um, workshops set up. I can milk at least one of these things, <laughs> my donkey. And I uh, got a li enough wood for beds for a little while. Uh, I wonder if they're actually... I haven't got any place to really put them except in a corner somewhere at the moment. But yeah, we've got some beds, maybe... Well, a bed anyway. Maybe people won't be so mad shortly. I'll even be able to make uh, some booze in a minute. Uh, that reminds me, I need to make a still. Is it a T? No, an S. I can't even remember my shortcuts. I'm so rusty at this game. Still, L, Y, and L. I have no idea. Oh, put it right here, and a little bit of jet, and uh, there we go. Maybe we can actually get a working um, fort up in this horrible, terrifying biome full of nothing but snow and occasionally undead monsters. I'm still not going to butcher anything. <laughs> not until I've got a proper military and a good place to just throw everything. Um, speaking of which, if I do something like that, uh, actually decide to butcher something, I'll probably make a really large pit, like, uh, not like large wide, but tall, um, right next to my butcher shop that they can just dump anything that I want dumped right down the chute, and it'll end up somewhere I'll never look again, so <laughs> I won't even care. Uh, but I'll get to that shortly. I wonder if this bridge is done yet. Um, Maybe. Yep, must be done. And uh, that means I can go ahead and dig up my upward ramps right here. Uh, I could actually get wagons through this too, and that's good news. Um, I'm not probably going to bother building anything wagony like a depot until after I've got uh, some of these other workshops moved out of the way, because they're kind of in the way right now, and I haven't got a good place to put them yet. I was going to stick them down here somewhere. I'm not sure where. Maybe right up here would be a good place. Um, so let's make sure this bridge works. <laughs> Please go up. Yep, it works. I also made it sort of long, so in case any enemies came in here, I can squish them a bit. Um, speaking of which, uh, after a little while, I'm going to make a bunch of traps. I may actually want to go start on that now. And uh, probably after I get more stone together, I haven't got enough to do anything yet. Holy carp, it's a miracle! We got migrants! And then one of them's a miner! Sweet! <laughs> well, this is going good so far, and I only got a giant bat, which is downstairs, and a stoke corpse. I have no idea where that's at. Let's see. And they're gonna have to walk by that. <laughs> Unless it happens to go away. Hmm, we'll see. Anyway, yeah, they're walking right to it. Um, um well, that's quite a big quantity. Uh, of peeps. Maybe they can mostly get away. <laughs> Run for your lives! Save yourself! All you gotta do is get down here and you're good to go. Um, come on, peeps. Run. 
blocks. In into the hole. Yeah, they're going. Fortunately, that was the only thing out here, by the looks of it. And I don't even know where it went. Maybe it ran away. Let's see. Uh, stout. Let's see. Uh, looks like it's after a mechanic. <laughs> well, that sucks. Uh, let me just go ahead and open up the door here, and hopefully it doesn't slam that particular guy in the head. I don't think it will. Uh, add a new task of pulling said lever. And, um... Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, furnace operator. Well, I need to make an adjustment <laughs> on uh, this activity zone, I think. And um, remove the zone and uh, put it back right about here and have a spare spot out away from the bridge where I don't kill somebody. <laughs> uh, first death was stupid with a bridge. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, meeting area here. Okay, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and add a new burrow just so I can get everybody inside. Uh, and I'm going to define it about here. And over to, say, around here. About that tall. And I need to make this right over here. Now, uh, for any of you new peeps, which I have a bunch of people on my channel that's never even seen or heard of Dwarf Fortress, I'm sure, I'm using the burrow to, um, uh, let's, I'm using it as a predefined area for people to stay in, basically. So, uh, if I got, like, a list of burrows over here, I can choose, like, uh, this right here is my civilization, it says Civ right there. If I highlight, uh, I just go right one. And there'll be a list of burrows over here. Hit enter on it. There's a little A on to the right. That says that's where everybody's going, pretty much. So, everybody, get inside. All right, is that everybody? I think that's everybody. Mm, yep, nothing but the stoat outside. Holy crap, I actually got people in here. This is the best I've done so far. <laughs> and pull the lever, and we're safe. Unfortunately, I haven't got enough beds for anybody, <laughs> nor do I have enough wood for anything. Woohoo! So, uh, let's go ahead and see what we got. I haven't got enough, you know, whoa, <laughs> some of these people were in bad shape. Uh, forged, make, what? Who's doing that? Oh, that's my carpenter. Uh, I think I need to, I think I got this a little wrong. Like, some of these, oh, that's a new carpenter, okay, I see. Looks like they are unhappy because they were immediately attacked by a corpse. <laughs> Alright, anyway, we got a miner, a carpenter, which is good news. Uh, let's just um, turn this one off. I don't need that. Got a couple kids by the looks of it. And a butcher, which I'm not going to use right away, anyway. A gym cutter, which I'm probably not going to bother with right away. And a mechanic. Uh, what are the rest of you good for? Not a lot. Alright, well, I'll tell you what I do need. I need probably a dedicated cheese maker and milker, because this person right here is my mason. And I need... I could probably use another mason and stone detailer, to be honest. Uh, this is my butcher. He ain't going to be useful for anything. Um, and might as well make him a spare architect while I'm at it. And, uh, anything else? I don't think I need much else just yet. Eventually I'll need a furnace uh, operator and... God damn, I just lost the furnace operator. And a uh, weaponsmith, armorsmith of some sort. Uh, at least get some copper stuff going. Mm, woodcrafting... Uh, I'm gonna need this sometime soon, I figure, but not yet. Uh, I think we're good for the moment. Um, yeah, so commit and, uh... Off we go, I guess. Well, anyway, this has been a fantastically awesome start. Yeah, it looks like a good place to end it. Let's do a short, short tour. Um, I'm probably going to stick some sort of workshop here. This will eventually expand to be storage. There's people's place to eat. S microscopic storage at the moment. Place for people to drink there. And uh, seeds here and food there. And Donkey's got this whole spot to himself because he kept on fighting with a horse. So I stuck the horse over here. And he's been eaten away. And from the moment, beds. My only current place for anybody to grow food at. Still, which I had got to use yet. So I don't have enough rock pots done yet. That thing there will make my rock pots. And, uh, 
And he's coming along with it. Craft Dwarfs Workshop. And here I got my Mason's Workshop. Wood stockpile here, which is empty, I think. Wood stockpile there, which is empty. And uh, this guy's making mechanisms for traps. Carpenter ain't doing anything right at the moment because I'm out of wood. And uh, that's pretty much it so far. Uh, I think this is going really, really well. Except I think I forgot to go downstairs and lock my hatch. <laughs> and they put it in the wrong spot. Or I put it in the wrong spot. Well, that just figures. <sighs> Alright, somebody remove this. Um, okay, that's uh, hatch covers taken care of. So, we're up to, uh, I got four volunteers slash victims here, and uh, they're currently, Clover Magic is a miner, and uh, let's see, Jeff the Rambler is currently a farmer, yeah, dedicated farmer here. Lamal, you're currently my mason, I'll get you into a Mark's store for too long. And, uh, anybody else? Mega Helmet, you're in bad mood, you're currently my woodcutter. Because I decided to make uh, Thob my eh, dedicated carpenter. So, that's it. I'll catch you guys another time. See you later.